Since the start of the premium trading signals group, we have had over 11 winning trades and over a 70% win rate. So if you want to join this group and learn more about trading crypto, make sure to check out the links down in the pinned comment for both the Telegram and the Discord group where you can find more information on how to join the signals group. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Slinix Crypto and uh, welcome to this new video on Conflux and the CFX coin. I uh, wanted to make a quick update on that because we just had a, a bullish breakout and uh, I know that a lot of you are still in CFX and still trading it. Uh, so I just wanted to give you my thoughts on it and, uh, and, and my take has, for those of you who missed it, been very bullish ever since its uh, partnership with the Chinese Instagram, um, which yes, I know that that's not this, but that was the news that, uh, that came at the end of January. Uh, but since then has absolutely skyrocketed because of uh, great news with China Telecom as well. Uh, but also, most likely, manipulation. All right. I mean, if you if you take a look at the volume right now, you can see that, I don't know, like BitUbu is not, in my opinion, a, a reliable source of volume. It, it doesn't matter that much. I mean, in the, in the end, it's crypto. I mean, there's manipulation everywhere. Um, but a move like this is not normal, even not with the news it has uh, has had, which is great news, but still. So if we take a look at the uh, technicals, what you'll see is that we uh, we reached 35, 36 cents as a resistance, uh, the, the 21st, so two days ago. Um, but ever since, we've actually dropped down quite a bit and our main resistance has been 33 cents, which also houses the 1.618 FIBs, two of them. Um, so that's, uh, that's our main resistance level right now. You can see that we dropped down all the way to 27 cents yesterday with the bearish momentum that we had. But ever since, as I said, purely technically, we had a bullish breakout again. We broke above this 236 FIB around, around 29 cents. And we were above that. So then the question uh, obviously arises again. Well, can we continue this bull run? Can we get up even higher? And um, yeah, that's why I wanted to make the video. In my opinion, the main thing we need to do to get higher, and my price target would be 40 cents. Just historically, 40 cents has been respected a lot. We might spike above it a little bit more towards 42, 41 cents, but uh, 40 cents really is the main target. Uh, and the question is, can we reach that? And the answer is yes, but we just need to break above 33 cents. And whether that's possible, it, it depends. It just depends on Gonflux. It depends on what Bitcoin does as well. Bitcoin right now is not doing amazing, right? So that uh, decreases the chances for, 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 for sure. So this is the main thing. And I would say something like this is still valid as long as we're above 26 cents. So right now you can see that even though we broke above uh, 29 cents, we're not getting a lot of bullish momentum from that. So it seems like it's more likely that we'll drop down to that level around 26 cents. As long as we can hold that, something like this is still possible. The problem arises when we break down below 26 cents. Because honestly, we still have that whole level at 25 and 24 cents. But I'd say that if 20, if that level between 26, 27 cents breaks, I think we'll just take a break retest and drop down all the way to 22 cents, which would be an amazing buy level again. Uh, Conflux right now has some uh, amazing buy levels under that 26, 27 level. Uh, but it's obviously not ideal because if we, if, if we break down below 26 cents, I think it's going to be very, very hard to even get towards 35 and 36, uh, 36 cents again. So sure, we can actually get higher. We can get to 40 cents. But we're probably going to drop down to 26 cents first. And from there, we, we really need to hold that as a support. If we don't, it's over, at least for a while. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, that's my full thoughts and my full analysis on conflicts. If you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, but for now, take care. Enjoy your day and bye.